Today is March 15th, and as usual, I'll take a look at the new items on Halo Infinite Storm, determining whether or not they're worth your money. So, how's it going, Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. So, of course, since it is Tuesday, we've had the new weekly rotation, and there is positives and negatives here. As far as negatives go, nothing here is new. There is not a single new bundle today, which is very disappointing, considering we, considering we already know that there are several bundles that are yet to be released. One of these bundles has been on not that long ago and isn't that great. And then there's also an individual item, but two of these bundles have had pretty big price reductions and we'll get into that in a moment. I'll of course cover the items from cheapest to most expensive and we'll start with the Longhorn vehicle model. This costs 600 credits and gives this cool little skull on the fronty warthog. However, for 600 credits, I don't think that's worth it at all. I think for one vehicle model that's only for the normal warthog, 600 credits feels very overpriced. This is a cool item, I just don't think it's worth that much. Now, maybe if you got it for the Rocket Hog as well, uh, and maybe for the Razorback, I don't really know if it'd fit properly on the Razorback, but I could definitely see this fitting on the Rocket Hog as well. If you got it for two vehicles, then I'd probably find that a lot better. Or if it came with like a coating for the Warthog and a couple of the other vehicles, then that'd be completely fine. But just 600 credits for one skull, that just doesn't feel fair to me. Next up, we've got the Happy Hunting Bundle. This contains six items, but really it's only it's only three because nameplates, for some reason, it counts each emblem as an individual item, which I don't think is fair. Uh, you get the GRD Bear Weapon Charm, which is a reference to the GRD helmet, which was cut from Reach initially, but added through Master Chief Collection. I, I find it crazy that they've got this as like a little weapon charm reference, but didn't add the helmet. I think it would have been cool if the helmet was part of the Battle Pass. That would have been awesome, but alas, that isn't the case. You get the Buckshot Bonanza Weapon Coating for the Bulldog. This is a nice coating. It kind of reminds me of the Nerf one. It's got that almost plastic look to it. It almost makes it look like a toy. It is a nice coating, but the fact that you only get it for the Bulldog, I think, is ridiculous. And then you get the Brute's Nameplate, which looks cool. You get this as a vehicle emblem, an armor emblem, and a weapon emblem. This one will cost 700 credits, and I don't think it's worth it for that. The Weapon Charm's cool, the coating is cool, and the emblem's cool, but I don't think they warrant that purchase price. I don't think 700 credits is a fair price for that. I think if you got the Bulldog, if you got the coating for a couple of other weapons, it just had to be like another two weapons, 700 credits would be fine. But when you look at some of the newer bundles, in fact, if you look at the next bundle, we're going to cover then yeah this doesn't seem fair at all the maltes mayhem weapon set is back and it has had a price reduction uh for i think it was 1500 credits when it first came onto the store and now it's only 800 which i think is a much fairer price this bundle contains seven items you get the type 2p flash hider for the battle rifle which makes it look much more like the halo 3 iteration you get the crit point shroud model for the sidekick, which kind of makes it look a bit more like the Halo 3 ODST pistol, in my opinion. Makes it look like the Halo 3 ODST Magnum. I really like this, I think it looks great. And you also get the Type 2A barrel shroud for the assault rifle. And this is fine. You also get the Maltes Mayhem weapon coatings. These are okay. They're not the best weapon coatings in the game. They're kind of mediocre, but they're decent enough. I think for 800 credits, this bundle is definitely worth it. Just for the weapon models alone, I would happily pay 800 credits just for the weapon models. So it's nice having the coatings there, even if I probably won't use them all that often. If you're just looking to grow your weapon coating library, your weapon model library, then this is definitely a solid bundle. I think the sidekick model especially looks great. And obviously the battle rifle making it look a bit more in line with the, with earlier iterations i think this is a solid bundle the final bundle we'll be talking about today is the fire and frost bundle this came on initially during the winter contingency event i believe and it was 2000 credits and for that price i definitely didn't think it was worth it the coatings were nice we'll talk about them in a sec but i didn't think 2000 credits was a fair price and now it has been reduced to 1200 i still think this is stretching it a bit we'll talk about the items here now you get the vermilion fire coating for the mark 7 core vermilion flame for the Oroi core and vermilion wrath for the mark 5b these are all of course the same coating and they kind of make your spawn look a bit like Iron Man. This is without a doubt one of the nicest armor coatings in the game. I like the shiny materials and I like that it does make your spawn look like Iron Man. But these aren't the only things you get. You also get the Snow Whisperer weapon coating for the battle rifle. Again, nice coating. This sort of snow white, uh, this snow white battle rifle coating. The bits of red really stand out on here. You also get the Veer Glass Memory coating for the Sniper and the Bulldog that gives it like an icy texture and I like this too. You also get the Trash Removal Stance and the A Tempest of Blades emblem. Not that bothered about the emblem, but hey, it's decent enough. Now, I think for a thousand credits, this bundle would be a good deal, but I think 1,200 is just stretching it a little bit. Now, when you compare this to other bundles of a, of a similar price, like we had the Gungnir or Stormfall armor set, 
that cost 1200 but that of course gave you actual armor it gave you an armor coating i think that coating should have been for every core but that gave you actual armor not just color swaps these are some of the more interesting coatings and i understand fully why people would want them they're much more shiny they stand out a lot more than some of the much more unique armor coatings they literally make you spawn like iron man i know i've said that already so I can understand why people would want these. Again, the weapon coatings look nice. Everything here is nice. I just feel like it's just a bit too much. I think for a thousand credits, it would be fine. And honestly, 1,200 isn't a terrible price, but it's not super overpriced. Uh, for 2,000 credits, it was definitely overpriced. But for 1,200, I think this is a fine price point. Could be a little bit better. Anyway, that sums up everything on the shop today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I'm aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year, and I'm hoping we can even achieve 800 by the end of March. The support on the channel lately has been amazing and I really, really cannot thank you all enough. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite bundle on the shop today is. Are you hopeful for the rest of the week? I really think we're going to be seeing Happy Hunting three times. But anyway, that's all from me and I'll catch you all in the next one.